Today we have Suki, Suki the Great, coming in. She's gonna be talking to us, sharing a lot of personal things about her life that a lot of people don't know. Um, this is an all-around artist, you guys, and a very interesting person, so I can't wait for you to hear her story. modeling. Um, I was a backup dancer for years. Um, Alyssa Edwards, he trained, she trained me. And um, from then I became, I was doing backup dances for Daddy Yankee playing skills, J Balvin, like oh it's, I've been doing a lot of things. And then um, there are photographers that would be at the concerts. They were like, man, you're really, really dope. But you know, those sudden movements, you can't really catch a frame. You know, it's kind of like blurry because I'm in, I'm dancing on stage. Uh -huh. And so there was this one photographer. Um, he's actually a videographer in Dallas. His name's Jeff, Jeff Adair. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he was at the Playing Skills, one of their performances. And he saw me, he's like, you, I need to use you for a music video, but um, look at these shots that I did. Mm -hmm. And he had captured like a couple still shots. and. From then on, I mean, that's when you first saw yourself. Like, that's oh when gosh. I was, yeah. That's really when I. That's really when I started taking modeling. Oh, I, I guess consider modeling as a career. Oh wow! Because I had many opportunities. Like my mom, she she was a model. Mm -hmm. um, she traveled all over Italy, Germany, oh, and goodness. yeah. And she, I grew up watching her model, and I always thought it was so boring. I was like, I don't want to stand in front of a it camera. It kind of is boring, though. Like, yeah, I mean, it's it fun, is. but it's but it can be very draining. As far as the platform that you've gotten from from modeling um, and dancing, um, is there anything that you want to use that for, or is it kind of separate from um, anything you want to do in the future? Not. Um, I don't want to say yes and no. So the modeling industry for me, it's. Let me say this. I feel like the modeling, if you don't know yourself, the mm -hmm. modeling industry can box you in very, very much. Oh yeah. And I learned so much being in the industry. I know that there's other doors that need to be opened. Mm -hmm. What is something about you that people would not know by looking at you? Oh, this will probably be more funny to my friends, but um, I actually love love. Aww. I'm a sucker for love. I, I, Are the people think you're not a lover? You do look kind of People mean. don't, yeah, people, yeah. <laughs> See, and that's the I thing. I know you're not mean, but you, you do look kind of, like, at least in your pictures, you look like you can Well, just like how of. you said earlier, you said from my profile, I just, I give this, like, I don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. And I intentionally, like, I will say this, it, it was kind of more so of like a defense mechanism. Mm -hmm. Growing up, just from past issues. Ain't that just coincidental that they want me now that I'm up? Tell them guys that they ain't welcome, cause they can't see past girl and drugs. Chains at G, I'm blowing up. Same old team, that's how I does. They've got peace, but I got What's your philosophy, if you have one, on life? What's your philosophy on life, or what do you believe? Um, I know you said that you, you're a lover, mm -hmm. and you have a pretty um, stable mentality when it comes to dealing with things, but do you have like any general saying or, or, or belief that you would tell if someone came to you if I came to you and I was like just talking yeah. and you were to say if you were to say something that I had to walk away with like what would that um be? there's one saying that I always say and I get it from my grandma my great grandma um she says es lo que es it means it is what it is in Spanish mm, yeah she's always said that like you break your damn toe it is what it is I like it better in Spanish <laughs> it sounds way better. Yeah. <laughs> so she's always said that. So I've I've always grown up um, saying it is what it is. So like, there's I've had my car broken into, and I honestly don't even react. Mm -hmm. Like I'm just like, you know what you have to do, mm -hmm. you know, because you can either take a situation and sit, sulk, and cry about it, and still have a broken window, still have your car broken into, or you can go get that shit fixed and then right. keep keep it moving, keep shit pushing. 
Um, that's one thing that I always say, but if I could leave you with something, I would say to always water your roots. Mm -hmm. Always water yourself and your roots. I caught myself being drained from overwatering all these other people. Yeah. And I didn't have n nobody to pour into me. Mm -hmm. I didn't even have anything of myself to pour into myself because I had already poured into all these other people. Yeah. And um, I told myself I wasn't gonna do that shit again. Well, I thank you yeah. for today. I absolutely, I knew I, I had a feeling. I was like, I feel like I'm gonna have a good like energy going on with her. I'm yeah. really, really happy you were you, you came today. And, First and episode, girl, maybe you, second. No, I don't what? know. But however, y'all decide to make <laughs> it happen. We have to come back. <laughs> no, thank you for having me. It was. I feel like it's this. These conversations are necessary, especially yeah. for people to um, be a part of and watch because. You would never know. I, I, I guarantee you half of the things I tell you, nobody... Hell no, people don't know this. Yeah. I, they, people need to see you as who you are. Yeah. yeah exactly for who you are, not just the model. Yeah, exactly. See, and I'm glad you co-signed this. <laughs> Better cause they ain't yours. Better cause they play mine. We came from the same walks. Niggas wanna waste time.